consultation mechanisms are such a huge part of the act and the regulations, you know, so even legally it's so important. Um, but when you're talking about psychosocial hazards and the impact on the workforce, um, you know, you can do your surveys and you can have a look at your data, but to a degree you're really uh, making assumptions, you know, around what you need to do and what, what might be going wrong, you know, um, the stress reaction is such an individual thing, you know, it can, uh, it, it, it um, really comes down a lot to the way that we appraise whether we can cope with these situations or not as an individual worker. Um, so unless you're really consulting and trying to understand how people are appraising the resources that they have available versus the demands on them, um, you're really doing a bit of guesswork there. Um, and we, you know, we're not expecting workplaces to be stress-free. If, if you've got a stress-free workplace, you've got all sorts of other problems um, before you need to deal with work health and safety, like um, production, for example. So um, we're not expecting workplaces to be stress-free. Um, things like performance management and re returning back to work for the worker and the frontline manager, they're stressful situations, and it's not realistic to expect that they won't be um, potentially stressful situations. So I, I guess the other thing in, in the control measures space, you know, we also don't expect um, managers and eg executives to be psychologists. So that's, that's a comment that I often hear is, you know, well, um, are you now telling me that I need to be a psychologist? And um, absolutely not. Uh, hopefully the publications like the um, National Guide and the Code of Practice will um, clarify that. Uh, and in that control measure space, um, as you said, it, it really more beneficial. Um, I guess we'd really like to see more people taking a look at the work group level um, intervention. So, you know, if you've got some hazards that might be emerging or might be in place in a particular work group, it doesn't mean that you need to implement changes across your organisation. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you different different work groups will have different um, different hazard exposures. Yeah. Absolutely, and 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 as you said, some of the solutions or you know the actions or or the control measures um, can be quite reasonable, and, and um, but you won't know until you really uh, sit down and um, take a deeper dive with your workers.